what really gets me super excited in science is not just make the discovery, but try to apply it. My name is Lorenz Studer. I'm a stem cell scientist and I'm the director of the Center for Stem Cell Biology at the Sloan Kettering Institute in New York City. Our current work involves the use of human stem cells and the ability of taking those human stem cells and make them into specialized cell types of the body. Dopaminergic nerve cells are a very specialized cell type in the brain. They control movement initiation. They control the precision of a movement. And if dopaminergic cells disappear or die, that's exactly the symptoms that appear in patients, for example, in Parkinson's disease. Now our dream, and where we get closer to this dream, that we actually can make those specific cell types in a Petri dish, grow them up in large numbers, and implant them back, first into animals, but ultimately into patients with Parkinson's disease. A key challenge to develop cell therapies was the fact that we don't really have a good source to make those cells. Where do we get them from? One of the criteria is that they have to be of human origin, so you have to have a human source of the cells. And on the other hand, we want to have a cell that's as close as possible to the actual cell that gets lost in the disease. So pluripotent stem cells are some of the most powerful cell types. In fact, pluripotent stem cells are thought to be able to make any cell type of the body. So when pluripotent stem cells are induced, they have to make a decision what fate they want to adopt. Do they want to become a muscle cell, do they a kind of brain cell? And what we try to do in the lab is to basically tell them what to do at that decision point. So here are two more small colonies. So we have recently developed a method to age cells. The aging process is particularly important because we want to understand and model a disease in a Petri dish that happens only late in life. It takes nine months to go from, from a fertilized egg to a baby that's born. To go to a stage where you actually have a disease such as Parkinson's might take well another 40 or 50 years. We cannot wait that long in the lab, so we need to find a way to basically speed up the process. So there are rare disorders where children prematurely age. So what we did is we picked out the gene that is causing that premature aging and put it in our cells at least for a short time to basically have like a time lapse where we speed up the aging process. And so what that allows us to do is now do not just make any dopaminergic neuron, but the dopaminergic neurons of a given age. And that age is the age that we think is most relevant for drug discovery, because you really want to study how these dopaminergic cells respond to a drug at the time when you have the disease and not at the time when it, the cell is still like a fetal cell. So there are many, many areas where we think we can take the template that we developed for Parkinson's disease and apply it to broader diseases. And I think for that, this award might really not only motivate me, but hopefully all my colleagues and, and the whole field to really bring this technology to the forefront and really make it happen. <laughs>